اللهم يا من جعلت السحر ابتلاء فأنت برحمتك لن تنسانا وأنت جل جلالك الذي خلقت له الدواء ف... الحمد لله الذي أرسل رسول بالهدى والدين الحق الذراء للدين كل وكفى بالله شهيدا وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسول أما بعد يا إخواني الله ويكس الصوب إن ديفرن ديفرن ليفل يسند الساينز and some of the signs people wake up and some don't even wake up they woke up when it's too late in the moment of death so many people take it lightly in this dunya they think they are here to play but no one is here to play everybody is here for a reason and and the only reason everyone is here to worship Allah Rabbul Izza now today i'm going to narrate about two brothers twins one is called Hamid and one is called Majid it begins by these twins they were raised by a father and a mother who were upright and they studied very well and then after that they became older and then they went to university Now when they went to university that is when things started to go wrong they met friends and these friends were very corrupt guys but Majid was cautious but Hamid was overwhelmed and was taken by the waves Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam says in a hadith very famous hadith الرجل على دين خالل man is upon the religion of his friend فليندر احدكم من يخالل let man look at who his friend is going to be so this hamid was overtaken by the friends and he went with friends who do all sorts of dirt and gone studies he left but he warns his brother majid do not tell dad everything anything do not tell him his dad was billing them every month now he comes back home from the university his dad arranged a nice feast they ate everyone was enjoying but majid has got load, loads in his head and his mind but hamid nothing is enjoying he thinks life is about enjoying now As times pass by because he's already in the trend of partying and enjoying so he started playing around with girls he became a playboy from university all the way to the town he's gone back to his hometown he's become a playboy girl so he started playing with the girls on the town and he met one girl girl he started seducing her his brother is there and he's warning him don't do this to this girl don't seduce her like this he's telling the girl i love you so much you are the beauty of my eyes seducement of high level it went like that until the girl became pregnant when she became pregnant she went and told hamid hamid i am pregnant what's the way forward hamid went mad and start saying listen i've got nothing to do with you you need to leave me alone you bugger off go and get your life majid warned his brother and tell him brother this is not correct what you are doing is not correct you need to go and tell dad and dad let him solve it so you get married to this girl he says go and tell dad that i pregnant woman never that will happen he say no go and tell dad that there's a woman you want to marry he say never will that woman i will marry that woman came to me she welcomed herself to me so that's what he said so the the girl left and hamid and majid left home but majid knows everything how his brother does and they were twins this is our twin brothers so on that night they went home ate and slept but majid hamid warned majid say leave me alone and if you don't leave my affairs alone you will get it so it touched majid majid kept quiet for a week he never said anything it was on his own and one night they were asleep and then around one o'clock he woke up 
and he seen Hamid on the floor scrooching his face on the floor and someone like someone is holding his head and in the sujood and scrooching his face on the floor and he woke up and started saying Hamid was wrong Hamid was wrong and he want to pull him up he was pushed all the way down and he screamed so everybody of the house came the first who came in the room was his father and he said what is happening why is wrong with you and Hamid why are you fighting Majid says dad we are not fighting Hamid is that's what he's doing i don't know what's happening to him his dad read a little bit and cool him down and put water and they took him to hospital his dad hold him lift him up and took him and place him on the bed and called for help and they took him to hospital when he went to hospital he stayed for two days the doctor says leave him leave him here for two days he's going to be okay for two days he stays in the hospital after two days comes back home when he came back home he start smacking he start head butting the wall and holding his hands on the neck his father comes and screams mother screams <gasps> and his mother collapses there and he say what is happening to my son what is happening to my family they've taken hamid to every hospital no cure they've taken hamid to every hospital no cure and then they start seeking help religiously and another a sheikh comes and say i think your son is go seher and the father went mad and say who, who could do this and sorted they took him to araqi a sheikh and he was red 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 nothing happened he was just sitting there the sheikh red 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 no thing is happening for one hour and majid left and hamid left with the father they went home when he went home they went to sleep in the night night came the earth and everything and he went to sleep when he went to sleep around 3 o'clock in the night majid opened his eyes and he see a figure standing in front of the head of his brother and he opened the other eyes to confirm is it true or not when he opened he see a woman black cloth standing there and he start saying mom is that you mom is that you and then the, the the figure turned towards him and he screams and everybody from the house comes the first one was the dad again and the dad looks and say what's happening hamid is sitting in the corner and he's shaking he says that woman is there there's a ugly very ugly woman there and the dad looks and he looks and the mom faints when she heard that and the dad goes and read read a little bit and the situation resolved but they were looking they were anxious looking for solutions the dad had the someone somewhere who can help majid and, fa- and the father took hamid to the place and they went and f- found a sh- an old man there when they went inside his house he says there's so many ayat of quran but i don't know the sheikh is he treating according to quran and sunnah or not and then we entered and he put hamid down and he started reading a few ayat of quran after that i didn't know what he was reading and that man started shaking and hamid started sh- hamid started shaking and his eyes became white and he started the father started shivering and majid started shivering they've ex- they've seen things with their which they've never seen for one hour it was going on and then hamid collapsed and then woke up like he woke up from the sleep and the magician that was a magician solving magic through magic and he told your son is got magic in the grave somebody did magic on him the father became very very angry saying who could do this and he doesn't know that in this dunya people are so dangerous and they do everything and then the mag- they asked the magician who is this who 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 who, who did this The magician says I cannot tell you but I can give you a hint who did this 
is a woman who's pregnant did this. The father got so angry and mad and start looking which person is pregnant in the family. The aunt, no, nobody's pregnant. Now, he left the place from the magician going to the house. While in the car, Majid is sitting with his dad. They are going back home and Hamid is there. And Majid looks at his father and he sees his father worried and everything. He waits until when he reaches home, Majid opens up and he tells his dad everything. Everything. And his dad becomes angry and goes and beats Hamid. And he says, have I not told you, do not abuse other daughters. The daughters of Muslims do not abuse other family daughters. Have I not told you this? You've got sisters. You abuse, they will be abused. You're going to marry her tonight. And he goes and arranges the marriage and everything. And marriage, everything happens. They got married, both of them. Boom. When the marriage, Walima, everything happens. Now the girl who was pregnant married Hamid. Whether he won or he doesn't want, the marriage took place because the father did it for him. Now, in the evening, one of the days, Majid wanted his question to be answered. He had question marks in his head. So he goes and approaches the girl. He said, believe me or not, I was not expecting this marriage to happen. But it happened. Tell me what, is, what happened. What did you do after? You, Majid, Majid abusing you and everything. What did you do? Did you do magic? The woman says, no, I never done magic. He said, Wallahi, tell me you've, you've done something. I'm not going to tell anybody. Because Majid is good in keeping secret. He kept the secret of his brother until when something pops up and then he revealed it. He said, Wallahi, I'm not going to tell your story. Tell me. Your... And he says, the night where you and Hamid were standing together and Hamid says that he's not going to marry me, he's not going to... I was so scared. I didn't know what to say and I didn't know what to do. And I was so scared of my dad and my family. And I thought, what can I do? What can I do? I need to do something about this. I need to do something about this. And I thought, I need to, I cannot go back home. So I ran to my sister. When I went to my sister, my sister, I told everything to my sister. My sister said, don't worry, we'll do something. We will revenge. So his sister went and found a magician. And they went to the magician. They gave him loads of money. And the magician did whatever he did. But the magician says, you need to place this magic in the grave. Nowhere else. So they went and looked for a grave and looked for a grave. And then the, the magician told them that they should place it in a fresh dead body. So they look for a grave, they look for a grave, they look for a grave, they found. And then they found a grave digger and they spoke to the grave digger. And the grave digger told them at the moment there's no fresh body, but there's a grave I'm digging. Tomorrow there's somebody's going to get buried and I'll call you. You st stay stand by. Around 12 o'clock in the night, they've got a call. The grave digger is calling them to come and place the magic inside the grave of the dead body. So they went. When they went in the grave, the grave digger digged and bring the dead body out. When he bring the dead body out, he was, she, she, they were given needle. So they needle it in the ear of the dead body and the dead body was placed back in the grave. Majid asks the woman, what time was it? She says it was around one o'clock. And the Hamid, the Hamid started reacting and the symptom of magic hit him. Around one o'clock on the same night, they went and placed magic in the ears of the dead body. This is the life of Playboy. If you play with people's girls, you will end up going hurt. So it's better for you to be honest and marry the girl than playing with her. It's better for you to be honest than playing with people's girls. Now, Majid promised that he's not going to reveal this story. The woman gave birth and after two months, the baby died. They got divorced, separated. Hamid and the woman 
six months living together. They got separated. Hamid moved on with his life. He married another woman. And the other woman, the her story ended up there. There is so many playboys around the world today playing with people, girls. I am telling you this. Be careful. Be very careful. Remember, Allah is watching you. Allah is watching you. And Allah saying, وَلَا يَزْنُونَّ وَمَنْ يَفْعَلُ ذَلِكَ يَلْقُ أَثَامَ Allah is watching you and you will get it. So be very careful with, with someone's daughter. Remember, you have sisters as well. Stay tuned for more. Abu Yahya from the Ruqa Talk. وَآخِرُ دَعْوَانَ وَسَلَامٌ عَلَى الْمُرْسَلِينَ وَالْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ